In this video, we're overclocking the Intel Core i9-11980HK Tiger Lake mobile processor all the way up to 5.2 gigahertz in five minutes or less using an Erring motherboard and EK Quantum custom loop water cooling. I'll speed run you through the BIOS settings and provide some notes and tips along the way. Please note that this is for entertainment purposes only and not the whole picture. Please don't outright copy the setting and apply them to your system. If you want to learn how to overclock this particular system, have a look at the longer Scatavenger video that's already up on my channel. All right, let's do this. When you've entered the BIOS, go to the advanced menu. Enter the power and performance submenu. Enter the CPU power management control submenu. Enter the view configure turbo options submenu. Here we can manually set the Turbo Boost 2.0 CPU ratios and configure a dynamic CPU core overclock based on how many cores are active. Set 1 core, 2 core and 3 core turbo ratio limit ratio override to 52. Set 4 core, 5 core and 6 core turbo ratio limit ratio override to 51. Set 7 core and 8 core turbo ratio limit ratio override to 50. Leave the View Configure Turbo Options submenu. Enter the Config TDP Configurations submenu. Here we can unleash the Turbo Boost 2.0 PL1 and PL2 power limits and let the CPU run at unlimited power indefinitely. Set power limit 1 to 4 million 95,875. Set power limit 2 to 4 million 95,875. Leave the Config TDP Configurations submenu. Enter the CPU VR settings submenu. Here we can remove some of the electrical limits constraining the voltage regulator driving the CPU core voltage. Enter the VCC and VR settings submenu. Set VR current limit to 1023. Set TDC current limit to 32767. Leave the VCC and VR settings submenu. Leave the CPU VR settings submenu. Set power limit 4 override to enabled. This enables us to set a manual Turbo Boost 2.0 PL4 power limit. Set power limit 4 to 4 million 95,875. Enter the CPU lock configuration submenu. Here we can remove the locks that prevent any overclocking settings to become effective. Without disabling the locks, overclocking won't be possible. Set CFG lock to disabled. Set overclocking lock to disabled. Leave the CPU lock configuration submenu. Leave the CPU power management control submenu. Leave the power and performance submenu. Enter the overclocking performance menu. Here we can find most tools from Intel's CPU overclocking toolkit, which enables us to configure higher frequencies for the CPU. Set overclocking feature to enabled. This quite literally enables overclocking. Set fiber faults to disabled. Set fiber efficiency to disabled. Set VCC in max limit to 2400. Set VCC in voltage override to 2300. Enter the processor submenu. In this menu, we program the OC ratio, the adaptive voltage for the OC ratio, and the maximum allowed ratio for each core. Set per core ratio override to enabled. Set core max OC ratio to 52. Set core 0, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7 max ratio to 52. Set core 1 max ratio to 51. Set core voltage mode to adaptive. Set core extra turbo voltage to 1430. Leave the processor submenu. Leave the overclocking performance menu. Go to the chipset menu. Enter the system agent as a configuration submenu. The system agent contains the memory controller which drives the DDR4 memory, so here we can configure our memory overclock. Enter the memory configuration submenu. Enter the memory submenu. We don't enable the XMP profile directly, since the maximum stable frequency for the CPU is only DDR4 4000, and our kit is rated at DDR4 4266. However, we copy the XMP memory timings and voltage to set a custom profile. Set memory profile to custom profile. Set memory reference clock to 133. Set memory ratio to 30. This multiplied by the 133 MHz reference clock 
results in a memory frequency of DDR4-4000. Set TCL to 19. Set TRCD-TRP to 19. Set TRAS to 39. Set TCWL to 20. Set TFA to 51. Set TREF1 to 16,381. Set TRFC to 735. Set TRRD to 0. Set TRTP to 12. Set TWR to 24. Set memory voltage to 1.4 volts. Then save and exit the BIOS. We rerun some benchmarks to ensure everything works as intended and check the performance increase compared to the default settings. Higher is better and all of our benchmark scores are higher. We see a maximum performance increase of plus 32.92% in Tomb Raider. The highest core clock reported in the operating system is 5200 MHz. When running Prime95 small FFTs with AVX disabled, the average CPU core clock is 4568 MHz with 1.185 volts. The average CPU temperature is 95 degrees Celsius. The ambient and water temperature is 26.1 and 32.4 degrees Celsius. And the average CPU package power is 125.8 watts. And that's it. I thank you for watching and the Patreons for the support and see you next time.